Let's make a sign for our salmon wreath. First, I sand the surface of my 10 inch round wood base that I'm upcycling. I'm using indigo paint for intuition and applying two coats. To create a moon shape, I use two different size mason jar rims to trace the moon and then fill it in with white paint. These wood cutouts came from Michael's from a few years back. I'm using black for protection, then adding a layer of Mod Podge and while it's still wet, use your glitter. Seal it with Mod Podge to prevent glitter transfer and then hot glue the wood cutouts onto your sign. Now it's easier to use sticky stencils for the letters, but regular stencils work too. Be sure to remove stencils quickly after painting and touch up any boo-boos. Seal the whole sign with Mod Podge and use jute for clarity and luck to hang the sign. Be sure to zigzag the string as you staple to make it more secure. Attach the string at the back of the wreath by wrapping around the top of the ring and twisting it into place. Next, attach your lights and tape the battery packs in the back. See part three for the reveal.